Hello everyone, how are we doing? Welcome in Jay, congratulations on first. How are you? I'm not muted today, good, cool. <laughs> Jesus, I can't believe how often I do that. Welcome everyone, my ring light is on charge, so we have light again, thankfully. I've also put it next to me rather than like in front of me so that it's closer. And although it gives me some like shadowing, I think it's a lot better. Jay! Thank you for the resub! How are you? Good thing I have my handy dandy notebook with me that we are onto the fifth page of. But you already have a sticker, little Oshawott there. So let's grab that pen and mark down another tally for you. Five months. There we go. The unfocused notebook. Thank you so much. Enjoy, enjoy. I'm getting new emotes done this weekend, hopefully. Um, so we'll have... What have we got? I'm planning... Um, <clears throat> an... I'm going to replace the generic Twitch follower emote with an emote of my own. Uh, we're going to get a 1k bits emote. We're going to get our first tier 2 sub emote. And we are going to fill the new tier 1 slot that we have. So I'm very excited for new static emotes. Um, and then we do have an extra animated emote slot as well. I will be getting that done eventually. Um, money's just really tight at the moment, so I'm doing what I can. I have my payout set aside to do the emotes this time, um, but I'm kind of broke on money this week. Um, our grocery bill went over, and now I'm broke. Um, and then, because I don't have a shift next week, because of the public holiday, um, my next Bi-weekly pay will only be a week's worth of money, which is bills and then nothing else. So we're going to be broke for a little bit, but that's okay. We will be all right. But I am good. Um, I'm a little tired today, but I mean, what's new? Can't expect much from me to not be tired. <laughs> I'm also just trying to have some people tabbed up and Twitch has ceased to work apparently. What is happening? Are we working? No, okay, for some reason I can't pull up any more tabs. Just says that Twitch can't be reached. Which is concerning. But alrighty. <laughs> you know, whatever. Hopefully that doesn't mean bad things for our stream. That's okay. Alright, but plan for today, um, if you are in the Discord... And I think I posted it on Twitter. You might have seen that today is going to be a double stream day. So we're streaming this morning and fingers crossed, praying and hoping that we can finish Callisto Protocol because I want to be so done with this game. I really do. It's a good game. I've semi enjoyed it. It's just really fucking unfair. So I'm really hoping... We can finish it today so I can get rid of it. <laughs> um, we are, however, we did end last time stuck in a really hard spot, which is super cool. Um, so we're going to have to get past that before we can do anything. We are in the last chapter of the game, though, 12% through, apparently. So if provided we can get through this stuck spot and then not get stuck in any more spots... Um, 
then we should be good to finish today. But if we can't get out of this spot, or we get keep getting stuck for hours at a time in another spot, um, obviously we're not going to finish it today. If we don't finish it today, I don't know if I'm going to finish it at all. I'm really hoping we can. I've got four hours. Not saying I'll stream for four hours, but I have four hours. So we'll see how that goes. And then this afternoon, um, I am going and picking up the brand new Pokemon card set just released today. The first of the Crown Zenith cards, um, which is the very last Sword and Shield set. I don't understand what this error message means. Every time I try and tab someone up, it just says the connection, the site can't be reached, the connection was reset. I don't know what that means. All my existing tabs are fine. I am confusion. But anyway, so yeah, then this afternoon, we are going to be doing a Pokemon card opening stream. It'll probably be about an hour long so it'll only be a small stream this afternoon but we are going to be opening up not only the Paldea starter boxes which are still Silver Tempest but the brand new Crown Zenith set so we have an Elite Trainer box to open and two collection boxes and then the three Paldea boxes so five six items to open all up so that'll probably take us about an hour uh, which I'm excited for. And then no streams this weekend since I am working. However, like I said, I don't work at all next week. So we will have plenty of time to stream next week. I'm still going to stick to the usual Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, but there will most likely be a bonus stream or two in there as well. But without further ado, let's jump into Callisto. See, 12%. So hopefully, it doesn't take too long for us to finish this game today. But we are stuck. <laughs> we tried probably like half an hour. Yes, not yesterday, Wednesday. To get through it, we couldn't. It's yet another spot where it's a super tiny corridor with the um, big two-headed boss monster um, that is immune to melee attacks, but I don't have enough ammo to kill it. And I can't go back. So I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do. We just kind of have to hope that we get a good run where we get given enough ammo beforehand. Oh, and of course it set me all the way back. Oh no, we're right here. Yeah, so we just kind of have to hope for a good one where we get enough ammo. Because once we run out of ammo, the two-headed boss um, is immune to melee. If you try and melee hit it, it um, the animations... Because in this game, all the animations are real-time. So you don't have any immunity frames. Um, and the animations are longer than his are. So he's impossible to melee. Me too. I've been meaning to get back into D&D because one of my work friends um, plays as well. We were playing together. Uh, so I've been meaning to get back into it because a second one of my work friends as well also plays. Ow. Yep. All right. Uh, can we get a death, please? <laughs> 
Exclamation mark death. I forgot that the second zombie spawns as well. So yeah, this will be a good time for me to pick up the game again. Yeah, so um, almost 25 of those deaths, I think, was yesterday. Just from this spot. Or at least 20 of them were, I'm pretty sure. Health. Cube. Health. Alright. So, that means that we are not getting through this area then. Because I don't have enough ammo. But we'll give it a shot. Because yeah, um, I tried meleeing last time. I tried it a couple times when I ran out of ammo. And yeah, the um, animations are too long. And of course he's not fucking running when I tell him to run. Oh my god, this game is going to piss me the fuck off today. <sighs> Another one, please, Jay. Your fingers are going to be hard at work today, Jay. Hey, Prime! I'm alright. This game is really pissing me off, though. Because we can't get past this section because we don't have enough ammo to defeat the boss and he's immune to melee which is super cool yep all right we're not getting it again this time I dodged. Oh shit. Oh fuck! God damn it! Why did none of these fucking button inputs work with this stupid game? I swear to god. I tell you what, this game makes me very nervous for the Dead Space remake. This is going to be very. I don't Thank think you for the shout out, Jay. You get there. See if we can step so no, unfortunately, that will be the end of that round. Grab that? No. Alright, at least we got more ammo. So that is What's two. in the box? To the, uh, that's what she said at the moment. Alright, this could be a good one. dodge it did nothing because why would it fucking do anything why would this game listen to anything that i ask it to do all right then we run up here we grab this which is just money that doesn't help at all I 
feels so sick. Alright, now all I've got are these six little bullets. Now we've got no bullets left, which means we're fucked. Like, I once I run out of bullets, I cannot do anything. He is immune to melee. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this area. There's, there's nothing if I go back. Like, there's, there's nothing for me back here. I cleared everything out. I might just have to see if I can buy more ammo. As cheap as that is. I'm just gonna have to use the rest of my credits to buy ammo. you fucking would. And then that shit happens, so I end up with no health. I cannot wait to get rid of this game. Alright. Cube, what do you hold for me? See if we can hit death number 80. What the fuck? Why is there a second zombie? until later why was it here now So we just needed to go buy more ammo. That's good. That's nice. Good and nice. Alright. 
Anything I can scavenge? Got health. Good. Fans. Lovely. Okay, I don't go back anymore. Can I go back, please? I want to go back to that store. I guess not. It's locked me out of that area. Perfect. Oh, I just love when it does that. Alright, onwards, I guess. Okay. Actually, let me give you a shout out to Jay. There we go. And then also. Um, I asked in the Discord, but I know not everyone would have been online because I asked literally just before. Uh, we went live. But if we could get a pronoun check from everyone, um, that would be great. Pretty please. Because um, I want to add them uh, on everyone's names. So that um, in chat I can see. Whoops. So we know J is they them. Sweet. Yes, you can set your pronouns on the extension as well. Um, but it only works when I'm actually in the Twitch window. Um, while I'm sitting in OBS, it doesn't show up in the chat doc. But I found out a life hack that if you actually click on someone's username and then click the pencil icon next to their username, you can add notes that only you can see. Um, so I'm just adding like a little note next to everyone's name so that I can see it while I'm in OBS. Which is handy. Alright. They're giving us lots of false chests recently. I don't appreciate that. If I have to fight one more of those fuckers through this game, I'm gonna be real pissed. Oh, perfect. I'm inside. <gasps> Padded soul? Nap? Nap time? Quick, look for things we can scavenge. Anything I can take for my own personal gain. Namely, health. Probably a hot minute. He doesn't seem well. I wouldn't be surprised if those guys break out. Hey, what are you doing? I said, what are you doing? It's only an inhibitor to slow the rate of infection. You said you could cure her. I can, with your help. Do you have to trust me? <clears throat> We're wasting time, and she doesn't have much. All right, right. fine. Do whatever you do. <clears throat> Soon everything will become clear. 
Seems like it worked. Now, why don't you start by telling me about this? You saw the recordings, you know what happened on Europa? I have no idea what happened on Europa. I wasn't there when the attack happened. No, but she was. Are you sure you really want to? Yes! Stewish. Law time. What did you do to me? Give you what you wanted. The curse of knowledge. Your core is linked with hers now. Or at least it will be once the sync is complete. The data won't transfer immediately, but her memories will fill in the gaps, give you the answers you seek. Okay. Just tell me how we can cure her. You can use this to synthesize an antidote, but you'll need to extract a sample from the warden's elf. Ah, oh, shit. It's what? The goal of this madness. His ridiculous protocol. Ooh, roll credits. During the original outbreak, the colonist, known as Subject Zero, demonstrated a unique ability to synthesize the biofish, to control it. Yeah, I heard well. in the recording something about bigger, stronger. The next phase of human evolution. Doesn't was killed during the look journey. promising. <laughs> and now, the warden seeks to replicate the conditions of the original outbreak. Hoping to recreate Subject Zero as Subject Alpha. By releasing the virus into the prison? As he would say, evolution doesn't happen in a lab, it happens in the wild. Yo, how can he do this? There's no way he can cover this up. He's not acting alone. He's part of a group. Dating back centuries, they seek to control the progress. This does feel very dead spacey. She's waking. Be careful, Jake. Once synthesized, the antidote will contain the only pure essence from his alpha. He'll want it more than anything. It's the key to all he seeks. What about you? I played my part in all of this as well. There's no escape from me. Black Iron is where I belong. She'll do her best, I'm sure. You. Yeah. What happened? It doesn't matter. We got what we need. Now let's go finish this. Come on. At least I've got help now. How are you feeling? Like something inside my head. It's trying to take over. Oh, that's because it is. Okay, just hold on. We'll be there soon. Alright. Looks like that's about it. So let's continue on our way. Did you see that? See what? Uh, nothing. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. Oh, forward is this way. Follow the arrows. Elevator time. Up we go. She looks fucked. So, what happened? Loading screen, and now everything's blue. I mean, not really, Good but choice. at least she knows about stuff. Yeah. Oh, funky door! Didn't like that. What is all this? Well, this looks nice. Can we just chill out here for the rest of the outbreak? Who is it? I don't like the these doors. They're weird. We're gonna start reliving her memories and shit now. God damn it. I was supposed to say god damn it, but I stopped halfway through and it sounded weird. And now you're inside Danny's memories. 
fans fucking tastic. A minor startle. Let me go. Look at it. Look at it. What are you talking about? Cube. Jacob, what did you got there? What we got here is none of our business. Job to do. He knew all along. This was our fault. Really? Don't die, Amity rolling on the floor, laughing, rolling on the floor, laughing. I will do my best. Maybe? I tried to protect you. Just... Your uncle wasn't a terrorist attack. They directed the footage to cover up what they were planning to test the Black Iron. And the cargo that we transported played a part in both. I could have stopped. Yes, indeedy. Now, how are you going to make it right? Jacob, what's wrong? Me? Come on. I can't. I can't. On. Yes, you can. We're almost there. No. I can feel it. I swear to God, if I have to kill her. What if she's the final boss? <laughs> I'm gonna come back when I get the cure. I can take care of myself, okay? Make him pay for what he's done. Alrighty. I just really hope they give me like some health load up or something. Oh, perfect, a store. Sell all these things. Hmm. Is that worth it? Alright, I'm thinking this and then two health injectors. Out of curiosity, what was the step up from that? Nice. Okay. And then I'm going to go to health injectors. Happy United Day. Excellent choice. Finished. Sweet. I like the added touch that you can see the, the empty... Well, normally you can. 
Okay, bad example. I was going to say, normally you can see the empty health injector on the floor when he drops it, but I guess not right now. Cube. Empty cube. Damn it. I wasted the fucking health injector. Oh. If only I had known. Hold on. I'm gonna restart the checkpoint <laughs> so that I don't use the health injector. The checkpoint's right before the store. How handy is that? Sweet. And then... I think I'll still buy the two health injectors. I just won't use one. Let me see if Twitch is working again so I can tab people. Yay, it's working again! Cool. Tab everyone. <laughs> Alright, if stream starts going to shit, let me know. It's because I've got a thousand tabs open. Ammo. Health. All right, we're at full health now. Thank you, Jay. X. Jesus. That's loaded. That's loaded. That's loaded. More health. Alright, so this is the stock up stage before the big boss fight. I can feel it. Where did that go? There we go. Got all the ammo. We're full health with two health injectors. More ammo. More ammo. More ammo. <laughs> Alright. Fully stocked on everything. We got more health. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Ah, here. The greater risk is in failing to act. Especially when the commonality is finally within our grasp. Who the fuck is that? And right on time. He approaches the survivor. The survivor. Where's the alpha? Just give me the goddamn antidote. I'm not gonna let her die. 
Your friend. I've been watching you. You and your so-called friend. You're not the innocent you claim to be. You've proven that you'll do just about anything to ensure your own survival. Yeah, we've worked that out. I'm working through it. And what about you, huh? Watching people die for fun, is that your protocol? No. You are mistaken, Mr. Lee. The protocol isn't about death. It's about life. Our future lies out there. Jupiter? Our destiny. We were not built for life in space. This fragile shell holds us back. We have to evolve if we are to survive. From now on, you'll all see why. Proof that my methods are worth the risk. A final contest to determine the true survival. Ah, fuck. Humanity. Controller ready. Well, 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 five, two, one. Watch your profanity. Fuck no. The first I thought this was a curse. This is scary. La this did not go well last time we fought him. Melee doesn't work, good to know. <laughs> I'm in danger. So how are we supposed to beat this guy? Yes, give me some distance. Thank you. Oh. For the death. This is the wrong time to heal. I don't know if I can heal in this battle. I don't think it gives me enough time. Another death, please.
sorry I'm quiet, guys. I'm I'm really concentrating. I'm trying to aim for headshots. I'm not sure if that's what I'm supposed to be doing, but when have headshots ever been a bad thing, you know? It's a decent arena for this fight, actually. It's not treating us too badly. Don't fart! Don't fart! <laughs> fucking make a marker of that and clip that later. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I meant to say don't start a phase two or some shit. I think there was an extra death in there somewhere as well. <coughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. I don't have enough ammo to keep going. Oh my god. What in the ever loving fuck? There's always a place. <laughs> oh, it's quote ad, sorry. Holy shit. Oh no, is that shield? I have no ammo. Jesus. All right. Um, another death, please. I have no ammo, though, so I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do. That was a gnarly death. Yeah, that's ah, all my ammo. Okay, I see some things floating around. Uh, two more deaths, please, Jay. I'm not gonna have enough time to grab that. Oh shit, he's right there. Fucking run, Jacob! There's nothing around here. Oh, there's some health. I don't need health though, I need ammo.
I'm not really sure uh, how to do this. Okay, and it's an insta-kill as well, which is great. Um, one more death, please. I'm going to have to Google this because there's no ammo. And I don't know how I am supposed to defeat him with no ammo. Um, the tower boss fight. What's this game called? Callisto Protocol. Oh, fuck off, Facebook. The tower boss fight. Callisto Protocol. That's all good. I'm also figuring stuff out. Alright, so there's some s explosive canisters around that can be used to damage him. But apparently there's also... Oh shit. Some ammo around. There was some in that little box there. Explosive canister. It's just a light. Grab that health. He's pretty slow, thankfully. Alright, we're at full health. Are there any more gas tanks? I'm gonna get dizzy. <laughs> Instant death. That's not good. Damn it, that gave me health. I don't need health, I need ammo. Oh, he was behind me. That's not good. I know you said you were doing stuff, so I have enough time to type in the command. It's a one hit kill. That is so unfair. Ow. 
ammo. Good. He's right there. Oh fuck! Ow. Dodge? Alright, cool. Ow. Alright, when he does those charge attacks, you, I just need to dodge. Okay, I don't think there's any more explosive cans anywhere. Oh fuck, he's right there. Yeah, not that I can see. throw things at him? Oh, I can. That's good to know. Alright, other way. So we can throw the explodey guys at him. That's helpful. Where's he coming from? Here. Alright. Oh my god, he's right there. Ah! Alright, I don't think there's any more- there's no more health or ammo around. that. Oh my god, it's ammo. Okay, we just kind of have to keep running around. Looking for ammo. Waiting for the exploding things to spawn. Because there's no more health and ammo around. I definitely should have brought more ammo into this fight than health. Should have only bought one health injector.
I'm not really sure what I can do here. I mean, there's, there's no ammo anywhere. How to defeat the final boss. What if you run out of ammo, though? That's not the right thing. Alright, so, from what I've understand, we've fucked ourselves, so we're gonna have to restart. Restart long before that. The choice is yours. All right, let's try a different approach. I'm not going to worry about health items because we really haven't been needing them. I'm going to buy a shit ton of ammo. Buy four lots of that. Not going to worry about that. 
since this is the boss fight, doesn't need to be anymore. And riot guns fully upgraded. Maybe the assault rifle would be handy. What's our hand cannon like? I won't worry about that. Um, hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's buy the assault rifle as well. Just so we have a fallback weapon. The walkthrough recommended it as well. Alright, and then... Buy some ammo for that? What's our inventory space looking like? Plenty of room. More assault rifle ammo. This will be good to break down his shield. Alright. Got that. Got that. That's got a couple rounds left. break through all of this and then the walkthrough recommends melee for the um, the boss or the, the first phase it said if you're good at dodging melee is fine with just quick shots here and there So I also, in saying that, I'm going to have the hand cannon as my primary. We'll leave all this health around. Pick up all the ammo we can carry. We're going to try the melee approach. If the melee approach doesn't work, we should have enough ammo now where we can um, just handgun. I hope. Your methods are rash. You risk too much. The greater risk is in failing to act. Let's attempt this again. Also, can I skip this cutscene? No, unskippable cutscenes. Perfect. The approaches. The survivor. The survivor. Where's the alpha? Yep, unskippable. Cool. I'm not gonna let her die. All right, let's try this again. Your friend. I've been watching you. You and your so-called friend. You're not the innocent we claim to be. You've proven that you'll do just about anything to ensure your own survival. And what about you, huh? Watching people die for fun, is that your protocol? No. I hate no unskippable cutscenes. Surely it's not that hard to implement a skip button, right? It's about life. Our future lies out there. Our 
destiny. I have so many tabs we open. Not built for life in space. This fragile shell holds us back. We have to evolve. We are to survive. And now you'll all see why. Proof that my methods are worth the risk. Final contest to determine the true survivor. Humanity. Or my hour. Alright. Well, five, two, one. You're really a pinkies. At first I thought this was a curse. But then I realized it is a gift. Someone has opened my eyes. Show me my purpose. Take two. Ugh, I gotta yawn first. Alright, yeah. The melee is definitely the way to go with this. It's a lot easier than I expected. Here we go. Right, that was good. That was good. That's definitely the way to go with that. I'm feeling good about this. I also feel really sick. Because <laughs> I'm really nervous. I like Jacob as a protagonist because he has realistic um, responses to things. Any other character would be like, oh, he's like, fucking hell. <laughs> Straight away, let's assault rifle. Break down this shield. Throw a canister. Exploded in my face. That's not good. Out. All right, hold. Good. Oh shit. Reload, Jacob.
The dodge didn't work. <sighs> okay, that's okay. Reload that. What? Why aren't the canisters working? Perfect. Fuck! God damn it. Alright, we need to do a health scavenge. Perfect. so well oh my god Oh shit. No, 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 no. Jacob, jump, please. Jacob! Jacob! <laughs> ah! I feel like I'm just getting flustered now, but it feels like... I don't know, the, the dodging's not working properly anymore. I keep getting stuck on walls.
We're getting quicker each time though, so that's very good. Jump, Jacob! Oh my god, another charge attack already? <sighs> I'm stuck! God. Ah! I'm going to lose it. Excuse me. was nowhere fucking near me though. <sighs> it's just so unpredictably unresponsive. It'll be fine sometimes. And then you'll be like a centimeter too far away or a centimeter too close. And it'll just do the exact opposite of what you want it to do. And then you have moments like that where the camera just does whatever the fuck it wants. Mm -hmm. 
And if he touches you, it's an instant kill. What the fuck was that? Excuse me. I'm about to die. Oh my god, not anymore. What happened to it? Oh my god, it's right there. No, no, no. Oh, you killed it. Okay, well, isn't there a second one, though? Please don't. I don't think there's any more health lying around. No, there's a little bit. God, I apologize about all the rage that came out of me, guys. It would be fine if it was just me being shit all the time, but the fact that sometimes it's genuinely just the game not doing what I want it to do really fucking sucks. That's not failure. Progress. Sausage nipples? I do not remember when I said that. No, 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 I don't think so. What the hell? This is no time for false heroics. Leave the sample and walk away. There's an escape pod up there. To take you back to the life you once had. We can both have everything we want. I think we want different things. What do you want? I'll tell you what I want. I want my sister back, fucker! It's a hologram. A valiant effort. But surely you know by now. I never lose. No. This time you do. I really hope this actually makes her better. Such a waste. All this to save one life. Don't think you've stopped us. The data gathered here will carry the protocol to the next phase. As for you, self-destruct sequence initiated. Rip. Goodbye, Miss Nakamura. And Mr. Lee. I do hope you've enjoyed your stay at Black Iron. Reactor four approaching critical to this way. Oh shit, we're not done. Run! We sprintin'. 
I've never seen Jacob run this fast before. Just keep going. We gotta get to the escape box. Just keep going, just keep going. Almost there. I see the box. There's only one. We can both squeeze in, can't we? Shockingly, she's on full health after all of this. That transfer worked both ways. He learned more about me, and I learned more about him. In the chaos of the moment, I didn't realize he'd also given me the evidence I was looking for all along. He sacrificed his life so that I could go look for the truth. Was he trying to make up for the pain he caused? Either way, I hope you found some peace. Oh, damn. He killed them all? I mean, the place is still self destructing, so. There we go. We did it. It's done. <laughs> I never have to play it again. <laughs> uh. No, but in all seriousness, it was a good game. You can definitely see the Dead Space production um, in so many things. It's It's very much a spiritual successor. <laughs> Um, in both the good and the bad, unfortunately. Um, we won't end quite yet. I'll sit here and chat for a little bit. I always like to, when we finish a game, do like a bit of a final thoughts and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, you can definitely see that it's a spiritual successor in both the good and unfortunately in the bad. Um... The atmosphere in this game is great. The monster designs are actually very cool, um, very Resident Evil-y, which I do like. Um, music was pretty good. Good, de good sound design, very ambient, um, very spooky. The atmosphere in this game was 10 out of 10, very, very good. Um, and I like... This is probably a controversial opinion, because I know a lot of people don't like this about games, but I do. Um, I like how linear it was. Um, there was only like one time I got minorly lost in an area and it was just because I missed a door or something. Um, so I do really like that. Uh, but unfortunately, it does definitely have some flaws. Um, the dodging mechanic is one thing I complained about a lot. Um, I like how simple it is that all you have to do is hold a direction and it dodges for you. Makes dodging very easy. 
Uh, it means you can just permanently hold in the stick and you will always dodge. But, because it's the same button as movement, it means when you're trying to run or zip past an enemy, it's going to think you're trying to dodge instead. And as cool as real-time animations are, it's very immersive, having the inventory real-time, healing real-time, none of that, like, stops the game. It does mean that, unfortunately, animations clash. And while your animation is playing of either dodging or swinging your baton, it's not stopping the fact that you can also be damaged. So if you dodge on accident trying to run past an enemy, which happened to me a lot of the time, they would then hit you in the middle of your animation and you're either knocked to the ground, stunned, or in cases like that final boss there, it's a one-hit kill. Um, so I think I would have preferred dodging to be a bit more classic, something like L1, um, instead of the movement stick. Um, the lighting I also did not like. Um, obviously I'm not playing on a PC, but we have to remember I am playing on a PS5 with ray tracing enabled. This is the PS5 version of the game. My settings are on high. And the fucking lighting. <laughs> it's... Ah, uh, it wasn't... Okay, I anyone who works with cameras and anything like that, you'll know camera settings, there's brightness and then there's exposure. I can probably fuck around with my camera here and show you, actually. So, exposure is making the image brighter. It's kind of more brightness than brightness is. So, I'm upping my exposure here. It's going to make my camera laggy, but it's like it's adding sun onto me. Um, is that showing? Yes. But then brightness sort of just adds a wash across everything. Like, it just makes everything white, and that's what it was like in this game. With, you know, the ambient lighting of, like, a wall light or some smoke, some fog, anything like that. Instead of upping the exposure, it just upped the brightness. And that's what the brightness setting in the settings was doing. It wasn't doing gamma like it normally does. It was doing brightness, which just added a white or yellow wash over everything. So in those really dark areas where there's like a stream of light and some fog, you can't see at all. I couldn't see a barrel if it was right in front of me. Just because everything had this like yellow hue over it. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Um, but it, it felt like something you would see on the Xbox 360 rather than a PS5. Um, which kind of sucked. It made some of those areas difficult. There was that one area we got stuck in, I think, episode two. Um, that had like the spinning blade up the middle where I couldn't see the enemies in front of me until I was right in their face because of the lighting, which was not good. Um... I also like the emphasis on melee. I do enjoy melee combat um, in these sort of games. Um, definitely not something you want to focus on when there's multiple enemies though, because again, that animation clashing, um, they can just be railing into you while you're in the middle of a swing animation and there's nothing you can do about it. Because if you try to run away, you're just gonna dodge. <laughs> um, and yeah, the difficulty spikes are crazy at some point. Even just finding that walkthrough for like how to do the final boss and stuff, there were a couple articles I saw of people complaining about the difficulty spikes in this game. I was playing on normal. Um, and granted, I'm not like the best at video games. I've only been playing games for a couple years, especially games like this. I've only really gotten into horror in the last two or three years. Um, but a lot of people seem to be having the same issues where you'll be fine and then all of a sudden you'll get into an area with no ammo, no health, a shit ton of enemies and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, which is why it's important in these sort of games to always have multiple saves because they really like to get you stuck. 
if it did not save all those previous auto saves, we wouldn't have been able to complete that final boss battle because there simply was no ammo. And there was no way to get any until I restarted and went back to the store and bought some. But overall, I'm glad I played this game. However, I will be glad to trade it back into EB Games and never touch it again. <laughs> um, that was the other thing, actually, the checkpoint system. I think it did good autosaves. There was only one time where an autosave was a bit too far back for my liking. The autosaves were frequent and they were usually in good spots. But why include the option of a manual save button if all it does is take you back to your previous autosave. Hey, Jim! Can we please get a shout out for Jim? I don't think we're going to be sticking around for super too much longer. Uh, we finished the game, but. Hello! It is lovely to see you. Let's watch the clip before I get into talking oh, but about it's stuff. My eyes go funny because it's so big. Ah, yes. Okay, that. Don't take that out of context. Anyway. We will. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Context has been taken out. <laughs> um, whoops. I hope that didn't fuck anything up. No. Okay, cool. I accidentally went into um, task view <laughs> instead of Google Chrome. Um... But yeah, why have the option of a manual save if all the manual save does is take you back to your last autosave? Why not just have autosaves then? That was so weird to me. Like, don't call it manual save if it doesn't manual save. You know, that was just redundant, I think. Um, so they're my gripes with it. What I think it did well. Um... I will say, this game does definitely make me nervous for the Dead Space remake. <coughs> we will still be playing it. Um, end of this month, start of February. Um, but obviously this game was made by some of the original Dead Space team, as is the remake of Dead Space, is being made by some of the original team. And this Callisto has made me nervous for that because I was hoping that the Dead Space remake, you know, I had some of these similar issues in the original Dead Space. The difficulty curves, um, the soft locking being where you get stuck in an area and can't go back. Um, <clears throat> and just some unresponsive mechanics. And I was really hoping that the remake would fix some of that. You know, being that it's new and improved, newer technology, um, you know, going back on what they've learned, that sort of thing. Um, but being that this game had a lot of the similar issues does make me a bit nervous that it's going to be the same thing of it'll go well and then I get stuck in a spot and it's frustrating and it takes us twice as long to complete as it should. Um, I have been keeping up to date on the Dead Space remake information. It's looking promising. From the trailers, it does look like they've fixed those zero gravity segments at least, which that I think may be simply because we have better technology now. Uh, it's going to be more like you're actually floating and can move around rather than just jumping across walls. Um, the length from what people have estimated is going to be a bit longer, so it'll be closer to the 10 hour mark, 10 to 12 hours like this game was. Um, which doesn't excite me. I quite enjoyed the eight hours. Um, however, the Dead Space remake will... It won't be open world in the Ishimura. But whereas the original, once you are finished with a level, that was it. Um, in the remake, it's going to open up a little bit more. So you finish with a level, you go to the next one, but then you can travel back to the previous levels... If you want to, like, if there was an item you missed and you want to go back to grab it, it's not just gone forever now. Um, so that will probably be helpful for the soft locking aspect. But it still does make me a bit nervous. We'll decide when it happens, obviously, but I'm thinking if it might be beneficial for us to play the Dead Space remake on easy. 
instead of normal. And I know I'll probably get hate for that. I've really been trying um, throughout the last year, 2022, um, to play more games on normal, since that is usually how the developers intend the game to be played. That's why it's called normal. Um, and just to help me improve with games in general. But the way these last couple games have been going, Dead Space and Callisto Protocol, they're easy when they're easy, but when they're not easy, they're too hard. I really, really don't like getting angry at these games. Frustrated is one thing, but I've been actually getting angry at this game. And I really don't like doing that. Not only do I just not like feeling angry, I don't like you guys seeing it. Because I know a lot of you guys come here for a safe space and for a cozy environment. And hearing me screaming at a game is probably not fun for you guys, I can imagine. Um, and I know it could possibly be triggering for some people and I don't want that. I do try and avoid getting genuinely raged induced when I can. So I think it might be beneficial for us to play on easy. If anyone comes in and they're like, oh, why are you playing on easy? It's because you're a girl and blah, blah. Tries to pull any of that shit. Like, oh, you're not a real gamer if you play on easy. I don't fucking care. How many hours do you have in Animal Crossing? None, probably. Because you've got a small dick. So. <laughs> Listen, that's. I really don't care. I think the whole difficulty, like what difficulty you play on argument is stupid. Um, in the same vein as you're not a real gamer unless you've played insert game here. I think that's so stupid. Um, and I will not be a part of that argument. But I think we've done really well in my streaming career and lucky we, luckily we've had no one come in and try and pull any bullshit about me being a girl. I think there's only been two times where I've had someone come in and say something slightly I don't want to say misogynistic because it wasn't but objectifying I suppose um, and they were just really basic and boring <laughs> we haven't had anything insane yeah <laughs> Yeah, I, I definitely get things like like jokes and stuff, and you can sort of tell when it's intended as a joke. Because I mean, I myself am a very flirty person. It's not that I am actually flirting with people. I just I have that kind of personality, um, especially with girls. <laughs> um, so like, I get it, but you can tell. I think sometimes, especially when it's a first time chatter and their very first message is something like, show boobs. You've already got the internet open to watch the stream. You know where to go for boobs. <laughs> but yeah. So I think that's the go. Um, as for upcoming streams, now that we've finished this game, um, obviously no streams this weekend, like I said, because I am working. Um, later this afternoon, of course, I will be going live again to open some Pokemon cards, which I'm very excited for. Um, I'm pretty sure... Where did I put my phone? The next lot of Crown Zenith. Um... Is mid-February so there will be one or two times in February where we do more Pokemon card openings I just don't have exact dates uh, but we'll be doing one this afternoon and then next week so I work Saturday Sunday obviously today is Friday um, and then Monday through to the next Sunday so the 23rd of January through to the 29th of January I do not work which is going to suck, because it means I'm not going to have enough money to... I'll have enough money to survive. I'm exaggerating. I can afford rent and food. 
Um, but then nothing else after that. So it does mean, however, that I have plenty of time to stream next week. So next week's schedule, and I will post this on Twitter and Discord um, once the weekend's over. But we will be streaming the usual Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, but we'll be able to have some bonus streams in there as well. I'm thinking I'll probably take Monday off just to recover from the weekend. Hang out with some friends in stream. Maybe, um, Jay, if you want, we can organize a time to play a game together. Um, and then I might stream... I'll see how I feel after Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, possibly, and the weekend, possibly. And Jem, thank you for contributing to the Shiny Hunt Challenge. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, plenty of time to stream next week. There will probably be at least four streams next week. Four, if not five. Thank you, Jay, as well, for throwing some points in there also. Uh, so, yeah, next week we are starting up the quarry, which I'm very excited for. Um, for anyone who's not familiar, back when we played Until Dawn, uh, which we all had a very good time with, actually. Um, it was one of the first, like, real scary games we played on the channel. Um, the quarry is kind of the sequel, not sequel in story, but sequel in development. It's made by the same people, same sort of... Um, genre same idea except this time you are camp counselors out at a summer camp after everyone's gone home um which is a terrifying concept it's very friday the 13th um the game involves i think i could be wrong but i think it's werewolves instead of wendigos not entirely sure on that uh, but yeah so that's what we'll be playing next week um, I doubt that it will take us very long. Let me really quick and jump over to my YouTube and see how many parts I did for Until Dawn. Because it's about the same length as Until Dawn. Speaking of The Quarry, first video in my recommended The Quarry playthrough. Um, playlist... Oh, speaking of YouTube as well, don't forget that my next YouTube video goes up this Sunday. Um, I don't even remember what my next video was. <laughs> what video is going up on Sunday? Oh, yes. Uh, surprise trading those Scarlet Pokemon that I had. X! Jesus Christ. Scared the hell out of me. Um, so, yeah, I'd really appreciate some engagement on that when it comes out on Sunday. Um, editing took a fuck ton of time, so, <laughs> all right, videos, three, six, seven, eight, so our playthrough on YouTube was about eight hours, um, that includes talking and stuff, obviously, so it'll probably be about the same, which, if I stream for three hours each time, three, six, three days. So we will start and most likely, unless I get like terribly sick or something, uh, we will start and finish the quarry next week. Depending on when we finish it, um, will depend on what game we start next. The Dead Space remake comes out on the 27th, which is the Friday. So if we finish the quarry um, on Thursday, then we'll start Dead Space on Friday. If we finish the quarry Wednesday, then we'll play Pokemon Thursday. If I stream Thursday, start Dead Space Friday. If we don't finish the quarry by Friday, we'll finish the quarry Friday and then do the Dead Space remake over the weekend. But either way, the quarry we will start and finish next week. And we will most likely start Dead Space Remake next week as well. So yeah. I have a look. Run to these escape pods. I'm curious if 
there's like new game plus or something. What happens if I click continue? Ah, oh, it just, yeah, boots me back there. All right, no new game plus. So that is the game done. But yeah. So that's the plan for next week. So I will see you guys. If Listen, if I get like really bored on Monday, then I'll stream. But I'm going to go ahead and say Tuesday. He's getting ahead of me, Jay. Um, we are going to raid out here soon, though. Um, but yeah, so I'll go ahead and say start the quarry Tuesday. Play the quarry Wednesday. Um, and we'll go from there. We'll see what happens. So yeah. I will see you guys Tuesday. Actually, no, I'll see you this afternoon. I forgot that I was streaming again this afternoon. Sweet. That's that. All right. Yeah. So, when am I streaming this afternoon? So, it's 11 a.m. now. Or it's just about to hit 11 a.m. My mum finishes work at 1.30 p.m. She's going to finish work, come pick me up. And then take me up to the shop so I can pick up the cards. Then I'll come home. So. What time did I say in the Discord? Because that's probably going to be about accurate. Yeah, probably about 2.30. So between 2.30 and 3pm. Which is 11, 12, 1, 2. We'll say 4 hours time. So in four hours, I will be live again, and we will open the brand new Pokemon card set. I'm really, 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 really excited. The cards in this set are absolutely beautiful. It is the very last set that will be released for the Sword and Shield era. The next set in March is the start of the Scarlet and Violet cards. 11 p.m. your time. Sweet. It may be about 10.30 to 11 then for you. Um, yeah, we'll say about four hours. Um, yeah, so very last Sword and Shield set, which is exciting, but it's also kind of sad. Um, the card arts for this set look absolutely beautiful. And from what I've seen, the pull rate's actually not terrible. Um, obviously, people are only going to post their good pulls, so that's all I'm seeing. But from what people are saying, the pull rate's actually not terrible. A lot of people are having decent luck in the Elite Trainer boxes. So we'll see how it goes. I'm really, really excited. It is probably only going to be about an hour long stream because we are just opening up. Um, how many packs will there be? So there's 10 in the Elite Trainer box. 14, 18, 22, 26. About 30 packs. So yeah, it'll probably take us, it'll probably only be like an hour long stream. Um... But I am very excited. So yeah, that is the go. Um, so I'll see you guys in four hours. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Once again, I really apologize about me getting so angry um, with this game. I don't like getting angry in video games. Fingers crossed Dead Space is nicer to us. We might end up playing on easy, TLDR. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for hanging out with me today. Nonetheless, I appreciate the company. And who should we raid? I think. Okay, listen. I know that we raided her on Wednesday. So a double rating here, which I don't normally like to do. But Princess Boogler is playing Terraria with Barely Spooned. They haven't played Terraria together in a hot minute. And I really love them as a duo. They're super, super fun. I love Bear. I love Boogie. And I really want to go hang out with them and witness some chaos because this shit is chaotic. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, Jay, if you would mind dropping the raid messages down one more time for us. 
um, I would appreciate that. And let's go ahead and recap. Um, Jay, thank you so much for the resub for five months today. I very much appreciate it. It is good to have you in the notebook. And everyone else, well, Jay as well, but everyone, please go ahead and grab your appropriate raid message. Grab the first one with the rainbow hearts if you um, a, are not a subscriber. And please go ahead and grab the second raid message with the Kirbys if you are a subscriber. So we can copy them into Princess Boogler's chat when we get there. And let's go say hi. I'm excited. It's going to be chaotic. It's going to be wild. And I'm here for it. So thank you for today. I'm glad that we're done with this game. I am going to trade it the fuck in. <laughs> get it out of my house. And I'll see you guys in four hours' time for some Pokemon cards. I'm so excited. I'll see you then. Stay safe. Goodbye.